40,000 years ago, an ancient hunter drew a picture of a bison on a cave wall to tell his neighbors about food opportunities in the vicinity, fixing in our human DNA a compulsive desire to tell stories to one another. When Neanderthals painted on cave walls, they told visual stories. They were people of very few words. And the stories they told were all about survival, filling their stomachs, avoiding dangers. In other words, filling people's needs. 10,000 years later, the ancient Greek epic poets, such as Homer, recited poem stories in spoken words, sometimes talking for hours. How to keep audiences interested? Well, he spiced his odyssey with audience-pleasing violence and sex. The hero, Odysseus, battles the one-eyed monster Cyclops. He's with the fetching magical goddess Circe. This made the story compelling, and Homer took his place in the annals of history. Storytelling received its next big shot in the arm around the 5th century, when early forms of handcrafted books were produced in small batches in Rome. These masterpieces represent some of the world's earliest stories told in classic book form through written words. But even a thousand years later, in Shakespeare's time, a large number of people still couldn't read, so didn't understand some of his eloquent words. So the playwright wisely filled his works with great writing for the heads of the intellectuals of the day and body scenes and humor for everyone to enjoy. Shakespeare appealed to the head and the heart, engaging a wide variety of audiences. Turns out, that's a good strategy for telling stories, even today. 300 years later, in the industrial age, sophisticated technologies were leveraged to create storytelling machines through the invention of motion pictures and radio broadcasting. Movies opened simultaneously around the country, making it possible to tell one story to mass audiences. That made storytelling big business. Radio aired hilarious comedies and thrilling dramas with refreshing little one-minute breaks called commercials delivered through wireless technology. Movies and radio were shared events, either in audience-packed movie palaces or home living rooms where the whole family crowded around the radio receiver. Only 50 years later, storytelling science was growing rapidly, blending the optical genius of movies and electronic technology that birthed radio in yet another new story platform, television a single-eyed monster to rival Homer's Cyclops, and brand storytelling, in which advertisers promoted products to consumers nationwide, reached its zenith through TV spots. Pundits dubbed this brave new world after World War II the golden age of television. But there was only one big problem with the miracle of TV. Unless you owned a broadcast network or were a huge corporation who could pay for the airtime, nobody could afford to tell their story on television. It wasn't fair. Of course, as in any good story, a stranger always comes to town to rescue law-abiding citizens from the bad guy. The hero who tamed the Goliath of expensive exclusive brand storytelling on television was, of course, the Internet. Now, in the computer age with web video on the Internet, we have the perfect storm, a technology democratically available to just about anyone to use all the methods developed during the many ages of storytelling. You still have to have a good idea for your web video and a compelling visual message, but if you do, people will respond. Scientists say moving pictures are the most engaging form of communication in history. People respond emotionally to video because they immediately identify with what they see and hear on the screen. People want to be who they see and to have what they see in videos. This gets your story across in the fastest, most powerful way possible. This is true whether a 12-year-old girl watches Jimi Hendrix on YouTube and imagines she could one day play guitar that well, or a business person watches an online video showing a successful company and longs to have the same good fortune. Now that you know the accessible power of video, what story do you need to tell? With the right concept and messaging, script and talent, camera and editing, and thanks to the global distribution channel of the internet at your fingertips, the whole world awaits to applaud your story in the golden age of web video.